So yeah, as you can see, we're going to be making a mirror today. It's extremely easy to do in Anime Studio 11. And, um, and check this out. BAM! You can use switch layers in your reference layers and ch completely change your character's look and still have the uh, movement be referred to your original character. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, to make a mirror reflection of a character that you have in Anime Studio 11, it's really simple. You just have to create a new reference layer by clicking this button right here. And we'll flip the character. And we'll move him over or her or whatever creature or thing that you want to replicate. And we'll go ahead and click uh, and create a new vector. And we'll call this mirror. And we're going to just drop that underneath the reference layer that we just made. And we'll draw a shape and draw a rectangle. And I'm going to hit Q and select that color. And I'll go ahead and make it a, uh, a blue color. Kind of like that and hit OK and then I'll hit T and just change the shape a little bit so it looks like it's at an angle. Um, make it a little narrower and then we're going to go and create a new group and we'll call this group uh, mirror group very original and put that on the top and we'll go ahead and select your reference layer and your mirror and drag those into the folder the mirror group now we'll double click on the mirror group click masking hide all and apply now you see my characters been masked out underneath the uh, mirror and hit OK and then we'll also go and double click on the mirror and under masking, click extrude strokes and apply. That's just going to make sure that the uh, mirror's edge is always visible, even if your character um, overlaps it. So now if I go into my character and go into the timeline and move him, you can see like his arm, it looks like it's not working correctly. His hands floating out there. It, the head uh, seems to be uh, still visible, but if I do a command R You'll see that it's actually working so um, Just keep that in mind when you're making a mirror and So to make it look like there's a piece of glass over the mirror So it's not just like a portal or a window. We'll go ahead and select our mirror duplicate it and we'll put this above our character and we're going to, I'm just going to double click on it and under masking, I'm going to say don't mask this layer and apply. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to go under the effects or actually hit Q and select it. Make sure it's selected and you, you'll see it uh, become checkered. And then go under effect and gradient. And we'll click here and uh, then select the color and we'll click white and then I'm going to select the black and hit delete because we just want to use white so I'm going to click a few times in the gradient and then the first one I'm going to click on the color and make it completely invisible so I'll drag the opacity all the way down here I'll do the same I'll skip one and then do the same for the next so that's invisible Oh, and click Allow Transparency so you can see through it. And then we'll click on the next one and make that completely see-through. And let's see, maybe a couple more. I'm just trying to make, basically I'm just making a reflection um, so it looks a little bit more like glass. And make that invisible. So to tighten up the uh, white lines, I'm actually creating more colors and then uh, kind of restricting how, how they reflect. If you can see uh, up above, if I move this uh, color, it's making the color change. So then we can change the angle, make it diagonal, just to make it look a little more realistic and 
Let's render that and see what that looks like. Oh, that one's all white. So go back into the gradient. And I think that's because this one is at the very tail end of the gradient. So yeah, we'll just do that. Maybe move this one. So there's basically only two stripes. Um, oops, delete some of these. In on the mirror, but that's enough to make it look like it's kind of reflecting. And actually, that's a little harsh. So even on the white, we'll click on the white and then turn that down some so it's not so shiny. Click on the color and turn that down as well. And let's render that and see what that looks like. Mm, still a little. A little too harsh, so make that about 50%. Make this one 50%-ish. And one more time. That looks pretty good. I think I'll... Make this one. Okay. But you get the you get the idea. Um, the, so it looks a little bit more uh, reflective, I guess. And so we'll collapse the um, mirror group, and that's pretty much it for making a mirror. I will add a couple more things just to make it look more. I don't know, authentic, I guess. Um, I'll create a new vector layer. I'll call this the uh, mirror base. I'll drag it underneath the mirror group, create a new shape, I'll draw it behind it, hit Q, select it, and I don't want this to have a fill or anything, so because we used it in the mirror or the glass, we have to turn it off, and then I'll change the fill color to a brown ish color, and that hit okay I'll reshape it and just just to make kind of a mirror frame like that and I'll hit s I'll make the side just um, draw another square and I'll hit Q select the shape change the color just a little bit it just makes it look more 3d Then I'll draw another shape for the base underneath. Or the stand, I should say. Maybe curve that out, add another shape, and make it look like a stand, kind of. Oops. This is really horrible but just kind of drawing it out real quick draw some more shapes that looks mirror-esque right oh I'll hit Q and make sure that like this shape needs to be back so I'm just gonna select it Push down a few times to make sure it goes all the way to the back, and then this needs to go all the way to the back. So now that's good. I'll select this color, make that the same color as the front of the mirror. Maybe change this one too. Use the color picker, select that color, maybe make it a little brighter even. Like that. And there it is. So you have a mirror. We can go into the timeline so you can see it. And if I pose him, oops, I need to get him back and then render it out, you can see that he's being masked out. And yeah, that's it. So, really easy. If you have any questions um, or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks. 
Okay, I had to add this to this tutorial because it's pretty cool. I just thought of it as I was making it. Um, since I have a reference layer for the character in the mirror, um, you actually can go into that character and change its attributes. So I went ahead and uh, changed this, or added a different color to my character, added a ripped shirt and some, some kind of weird demon eye thing um, to my character and it still is completely rigged. So you can use this to, uh, if you want to have your character talking to, in the mirror and they have an alter ego or um, just some kind of other appearance, you can do that and it actually works really well. Uh, if I go into my actual character and move the bones around, you can see everything's still working just the same but the uh, character in the mirror is completely uh, different looking. And I just did that really quick within a couple of minutes. I just went and changed some stuff in the reference char character. So I thought that was pretty neat and I wanted to share. And yeah, that's it.